Hi everyone, I was asked to do a quick flip through of my A5 Recollections Planner from Michaels. Um, this is the rose gold cover. So let's see here. Um, I know a lot of people decorate their front pocket here, but I haven't really quite done much with it. I have um, a sticker that I got with my order from Sweet Kawaii Design, some sticky notes here, and then just some paper clips and this for decoration. Um, so when I first opened my planner, um, right off the bat I have my to-do lists. These are mainly homework assignments that I have to complete. Um, for the semester I write everything down and check them off as I go. Um, and then I have an apartment hunting list here. So that's just what I'm currently working on. And then in this front pocket here, I have some stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. It's just super cute, so I just left that in there. And then some more stuff that I need to do and get working on is in the back here. So I have my planner sectioned off in different with different dividers. I made these dividers um, myself just with some file folders I got from like the Target Dollar Spot. Just cut them down to size, hole punch them, and use these tabs from Michaels. It's the Recollections brand as well. You just kind of put them on there. So my first section is my calendar. Here I keep my monthly and weekly spreads. I don't separate them by month. I just keep it all together and then take out um, the past month, put it in the back, and have the current month here. It just works easier for me. Um, so this is my monthly, and then this is my weekly, and then I have the blank ones after that. My next section here is titled Personal. So here I have, you know, a spending wish list of when I, what I want to spend my own money on. And then I have these registers, checkbook registers that I got from Sweet Kawaii Design. They're super cute and I have two bank accounts, a personal and a budget account. So here I track all my personal spending. So I just have a whole bunch of these in here. So my next section is budget. And here I keep a rundown of my monthly expenses and then my April budget, May budget, all the bills that we have to pay. And I want to start doing the Dave Ramsey baby steps because we have a lot more debt than I thought we did. So really want to get working on that. So the next sheet is just all of our um, all of our debt. So I'm not going to show that. Um, then I have more checkbook registers here to keep track of my bill account, money that goes out, money that goes in. So it's just a whole bunch of registers. And then my next budget is titled Household. Here I keep my cleaning schedule and I'm going to start tracking my appointments for my cat Libby um, when we get her to the groomers, how much it was, when her vet appointments are, so that I have that all in one place. Um, the next tab is important info. Here I am going to have my passwords, I'm going to have emergency info, um, just you know something to quickly look back at. Um, these are the password tracker sheets from Sweet Kawaii Design as well. I really love these, I just haven't gotten around to filling them out. And then the last tab is just note paper. This is Avery mini binder refills. They didn't quite fit the A5 so I had to use my hole punch for my A5 and it kind of left a, like ran into with the bottom and top holes but that doesn't really bug me too much. I really like these sheets because they're true A5 size which is five and a half by eight and a half and then just all my past weekly spreads are in here as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's nothing too fancy, but it works for me. It's very, very tuned to my needs and wants, So, and I think that's what you need in a planner. So there you go. Thanks for watching.